Hello everyone, uh, my name is Rishabh Jain and I have secured rank 377 in this year's UPSC Civil Services Examination. My background is that I am a Computer Science Engineering graduate and uh, my optional is Political Science and International Relations and this year it was my fifth attempt. And I am here in front of you to share my strategy for the Civil Services Examination. So the first stage, which is the prelims, uh, this stage is the t has become the toughest stage in some last years. And uh, my uh, mantra for this stage has been that we have to focus on the static part, which is there in the prelims. So to say that there are 100 questions uh, in the paper, but the cutoff is constantly going very low. Uh, the news just came out that the cutoff for this year has been 75. So uh, what we have to do is that we have to ensure that what are the low hanging fruits in all of those 100 questions. And there are certain specific topics. The first topic is polity. The second is economics. Then there is modern history and the fourth one is geography. If we ensure that these four low hanging fruits are captivated with a very highly precise manner. Uh, for example, my agenda was that out of these 30 questions, all the 30 questions should be correct. So this will, that will give me a base of 60 marks and we, we, just, we just need 40 more marks to take it to another level, which is the main stage. So that is the first thing. The second thing is that we have to constantly keep revising the PYQs and not just the last 10 years PYQs, but the 30 years PYQs multiple times. And we have to also do some of the research from the topics which have been asked, be it the question or be it the wrong option itself. So these PYQs will give you the potential topics which can come in the future. And the rest uh, questions, the rest 70 questions, the logic uh, to solve those questions is very important, which you can gain from the 30 years PYQs and obviously the test series are also important to practice handling 100 new questions in two hours. Coming to the next stage, which is the mains, uh, this is the most important stage which ultimately lands you up in the holy PDF of UPSC. And so to say that second stage of the civil services mains examination is the most predictable part of the whole journey because the questions which are asked are directly picked up from the syllabus. So I would uh, recommend you to thoroughly, before even reading any of the sources, you should directly pick up the UPSC civil services syllabus for the mains. Then after reading the syllabus, directly jump onto the PYQs. First, read the PYQs to know what you all have to prepare for. Then pick up any of the one sources and make your own two-pager crisp notes only after reading that source three, four times. So if I am starting with topic, let's say irrigation within the GS3, then I should pick up any one source, any book that you're picking up, read it two, three times, see the PYQs, make some short and crisp notes out of it, and then keep doing that for all the topics. After we are over this process, then we should start seeing the toppers copy, which are available on different portals. You can see how to present that information in a two page or three page answer. And the final stage is where we start writing answers. First, you write answers for four or five tests, four or five questions, and then you try to attempt a full test uh, that is 20 questions. This you can follow for the GS. For SA, I would recommend that it is important to keep it original. There are many theories that we should write essay in this or that way. But my idea goes that essay is the only paper where UPSC has given us the liberty to express our views in a most open manner with any kind of ideas which can span from philosophy to religion to world politics. So we should truly keep it a sui generis article, sui generis essay, which is not, so to say, trained. Uh, the way in which we have trained GS answers uh, with introduction, body and conclusion, so should not be the case for the essay. Regarding optional, it depends uh, from one optional to the other optional, but my optional was political science and IR. There again, it is very important to keep your answers diverse, ensure that we are giving the context, the comprehensive analysis, the critical analysis and the conclusion as well. Uh, coming to uh, uh, my ro the role that Forum IS played in my journey, I was enrolled in MGP, that is the test series for mains uh, for the forum. And I would like to give credit to the team at Forum IS, which includes Ankita ma'am, because of providing me the constant support in the MGP. My test copies were evaluated very timely and very quality evaluation was given. Uh, one important point is that 
the points which were added in the copies they were not just the model answers but specific uh, very unique value addition was given in the evaluation itself and uh, coming to the model answers of the mgp i have always appreciated the model answers and the quality of model answers i immensely benefited uh, from those model answers i have added them to my own notes and i try to reproduce those uh, value points which are there in the model answers in my final attempt as well so uh, hearty uh, thanks to uh, team forum is and uh, the coordinator for the mgp which was ankita ma'am uh, for this contribution in my journey i again uh, thank the whole team uh, for uh, contributing in my journey and thank you so much and all the best uh, for your journey in this examination uh, thank you so much Thank <laughs> you.